Hello, Katie. What are we doing today? Are you really filming? Yes. Ah. <laughs> um, we are cooking, cooking, baking sugar cookies. Okay, so what are we going to do first? So first we preheated the oven to 375 degrees. So the first ingredient that it says to put in is the powdered sugar. And this is two and a half, no, one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Goes into the bowl. That is what an apron's for. Yeah. And then we put the margarine, which I melted because it says it needs to be softened. And so we do one cup of this. So that's like a stick or two? Two sticks. Two sticks. So we're going to put that in there Yummy. too. You do the vanilla. So I have my little teaspoon here. And, oh gosh. You do it, a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's what the bowl is for, to collect. Well, and nothing hurts if there's a little bit extra vanilla. Yeah, because we're not putting almond in. And one egg. One handed it, like a pro. Like a pro. We need to stir in the remaining ingredients, which is the two and a half cups of all purpose flour and I just got a text message which is cool wait what's that one this is cream of tartar oh okay which I bought yesterday for the first time I was like what is this done and this has nothing to do with tartar sauce so. yeah I was like you <laughs> and so we do another teaspoon put that in there and then we're is this baking soda yes and we do a teaspoon of baking soda not powder. Yeah, not powder. Soda. Stir that. Where's the stir? Oh, hand mixer. And then one. We'll start with one. And... So we're just going to mix it lightly. And we mix it with a spoon a little bit. And so the flour we're... didn't fly everywhere. Yeah, because I do have an apron on, but that's not going to save me from explosions. Now we have more butter and it's tasty looking. Yeah, butter is good for you. <laughs> well, it's better than fake butter. At least it's natural. So I'm just combining it all into one doughy form. And then we're going to use... Oh, it's preheated. So we're just going to wrap this in this. and stick it in the fridge. For how long? For three hours. So while we're waiting for that, we're going to make some frosting. So to make the frosting, I put five cups of powdered sugar, which is a lot of powdered sugar, in this bowl. And I have three quarters of a cup of milk, and that's all it takes is... What kind of milk are you using? I'm using 2%. percent shrunk. And it starts becoming, and that's so weird. Weird. Mm. Yeah. you think that a lot of powdered sugar would cause a lot of icing, but it's shrunk so much because of the liquid. Then we're just going to turn it on. So then, take that out. I'm going to let it drip for a second. Mm. Yeah, it's like the easiest. Easiest frosting to make. It doesn't really take that much ingredients. So no cream that. cheese, no butter. And I make cream cheese frosting for my dad's birthday cake and it took forever. And it took a lot of cream cheese. So we're just gonna split it into different. So we can bowls. make different colors. Yeah. With this, this is uh, dye gel. It's not like the dye, um, the liquid stuff that you buy in the store. Um, it's for cake decorating and so just like this little little amount goes a really long way because it's highly concentrated so we're gonna stick that in there and see that just like that little amount we, we did three of the just like the toothpicks and it is coming along yummy so we have a green and a red and a white and those are gonna be our colors because they're Christmas cookies yay so you're going to want to put 
like a cup of flour, no, like a half a cup of flour, if that, probably less. And you just put it on underneath you. So that way the uh, dough doesn't stick to the counter, counter or cutting stuff. board, whatever you use. And just put it a little bit in the dough. And then you're going, I'm going to cut it in half. in half, just because rolling, rolling, rolling that much dough is kind of a task. Roll it. Oh, put flour on your. Really? Yeah. So you're gonna want to roll it to about a quarter of an inch. A coffee mug, one of my collections, um, and you just press it down. And then you have your cute little heart. Keep doing that over and over and over and over again until you have them all done. So we decided to abandon doing all hearts because they were being difficult. And because I couldn't find a cookie cutter, we're using just a cup. And then you put them in for seven to eight minutes. 375 degrees! Okay, we have our cookies. Ooh, they're all done. So we have frosted the cookies, not cupcakes. So here's the finished product. Our little Holly berries decided to melt on us, but it's a wreath. We did some swirlies in the green, and then there's a bow. I think it's pretty cute. Bye, guys.